Hey guys, I'm Kaylee. Um, I did my uh, research review on the cultural influence of dream content. Um, basically, since the dawn of time, we've all wondered the same thing, whether or not dreams have any actual purpose or they're, they're just random outbursts of our subconscious. Um, we've always wondered about the significance of our dreams. Cultures around the world have different meanings of dreams and what they may indicate. Uh, cultural differences have been found evident in dream content in areas concerning achievements, death and dying, as well as conflict and aggression. Um, through many different interpretations, results have revealed that dream characteristics vary according to culture in a manner that is consistent with differential socialization practices. Um, also according to the religious ethos and social rules. Uh, this research compares the cultural differences regarding dream content in two separate cultures, um, North European and Middle Eastern cultures. Uh, like we read in our literature uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, both cultures are characterized by either holding a monophasic cultural view or a polyphasic cultural view. Mo uh, monophasic cultures place their value on experiences which occur in normal waking hours, uh, and thereby the examination of dreams is not socially facilitated in development. Uh, on the opposing side, polyphasic cultures identify numerous levels of reality. Uh, in dreams, in dream exploration is often encouraged. Polyphasic cultures guide their members in dream experiences through rituals and praise um, dream narrating. Moreover, the polyphasic culture is associated with a more traditional and spiritual worldview while the monophasic type of culture identifies with a modern and materialistic one. Uh, the European, or more specifically the sample we're discussing, the Finnish, uh, can be characterized as monophasic, whereas the Middle Eastern or uh, Palestinian culture um, are more polyphasic. In addition to their significant differences in family structure and religion, the Finnish society can be theorized as individualistic and scientific in their knowledge, um, and the Palestinian as collectivistic and ideological. So basically, to reiterate what we just talked about, uh, research has focused on the question of how children's dreams, um, how the contents of them vary according to their culture, in addition to possible violent living arrangements, gender, and age. Um, these cultural differences were assessed by comparing the structural dream contents between 205 Palestinian children and uh, they lived in either violent or peaceful environments. This research method used a pretty fair mix of both quantitative and qualitative research. When looking over the sample used in the research, it appears to be somewhat representative of the sample. Um, however, one note that I did want to make regarding the sample was that like I mentioned, there was 205 Palestinian uh, children. The initial sample that they started out with was 412, so that's a pretty big attrition rate. Um, results. Um, the results were pretty significant and revealed that living in a violent environment had a greater impact on the content of dreams than did cultural and personal factors. The results did in fact correspond with cultural differences in understanding the origin of dreams. The Westerners interpret dreams as private messages from within a person's psychological reality, whereas the Middle Eastern group interprets dreams as external messages from sacred powers. Perhaps the most evident conclusion drawn from this research was the environmental component in regards to how the living environment of each group of children manifested itself into the dream content. So in addition to these internal scenes such as guilt, separation, and shame that coincided with the Finnish children, um, the Palestinian children had more external scenes such as destruction, injury, and trauma. Uh, overall, the conclusion of this research finding in regards to its cultural impacts on dream content is somewhat inconclusive. Um, being as though the cultural differences were somewhat overshadowed by their very, very violent everyday lives and their uh, the military stress involved with these children. And that is my research paper. Thank you.